Provided there is power to go around, electric cars are the answer to future mobility. Much of the world is already there. Why then has South Africa been so slow to adopt this not-so-new technology? In 2020, only 92 electric vehicles were driven off showroom floors, representing 0.02% of the market. Nafisa Akabro has just returned from Europe, where she got to see the next generation of electric cars up close. Let's find out if they're finally going to make all the difference in the world for South Africa. Nafisa, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, talk to me about this next generation, new generation of electric vehicles. Uh, what does it look like? Is it a huge improvement on what we currently have? So yes, the new BMW iX is exciting because it has a longer range now. Uh, so even though BMW says it's 630 kilometers, but I think real world usage is more closer to 500 kilometers, which means no more range anxiety and you can happily hop into the sky and not worry that you're not gonna get to your destination. But also it depends on an individual driving style. There are three preset modes to choose from personal sport efficient. So you don't have to think much, whichever one you need to do, you just choose the mode and you drive. Um, it also has adaptive regenerative braking, which brakes accordingly according to your surroundings using the cameras and sensors. That's very clever. And then there's also one pedal driving where you take your foot off the accelerator and the car will brake and recharge at the same time. Um, the car also supports fast charging like most electric cars now. And it's packed with new technologies. There's augmented reality overlays on the navigation there's um, wireless car key using the iPhone. And if you're sharing it with somebody, you can limit the speed and that kind of thing like family members. Um, and there's a new iDrive operating system. So it's actually packed with a whole bunch of tech, including what will make it ready for level three autonomous driving, even though that's not uh, live in South Africa, it's not even allowed, but it is capable of it. So when it's time to mm. switch it on, the car can remotely support it. It's, it seems like quite a revolution for electric vehicles. The question is, Nafisa, is this electronic vehicle revolution coming to South Africa? Yes, actually. So BMW, they are already committed to bringing EVs here. They were very early on, started in 2015, rolling out charges. So for them, they're honoring that commitment. And that is why South Africa will be able to buy the iX end of this month. Um, and a lot of other manufacturers said that South Africa is actually the most important market in Africa. So therefore, they need to launch here first. And they also want to remain relevant to customers. Uh, I spoke in the introduction about how few electric vehicle car sales there are in South Africa. Why are we lagging behind? So um, we do have a very high import duty at the moment, which is obviously putting a lot of customers off. Not everyone can afford to buy these vehicles. These, uh, the cars are subject to 25% import duties compared to the 18% of regular ICE vehicles. Um, so that's why it makes the IX like 1.6 million and the high-end model 2.2. So given the price of petrol, South Africa really needs to start offering incentives so we can have more affordable solutions. It's that these talks have been happening for years, but there's not been any progress being made. So essentially, government needs to do a bit more to lower the barrier when it comes to affordability. Yes, apart from lowering the barrier, they also need to incentivize us as citizens to buy these vehicles, like how, what we've seen globally. Other factors, I think, of course, in South Africa, we just had breaking news about uh, ESCOM and blackouts. So there's uh, a huge reluctance for people to start investing in electronic vehicles yes it is a bit of a barrier to some but a lot of the manufacturers have said that their public elect, uh, charging stations are are running on generators so if you don't have electricity at home you go to the to their public charges at any time some of them are accessible 24 hours so they do have backup generators but they also encourage south africans to charge the cars uh, when the grid that is that it's lowest uh, sort of overnight like how you charge a phone so there's l low impact so yeah hopefully those two would incentivize people who can afford to buy it right now but for the most part it's not looking attractive all right thank you so much for your time we appreciate it uh, we're so jealous that you got to go to germany and drive electric cars motoring and technology journalist nafisa akarbo